My name is Marco Villalobos and this is my story of forgiveness. I grew up in the city of Los Angeles, California, which the world knows is the game capital of the world. My father had a job opportunity to move to Las Vegas, and so when my parents had the opportunity to move into a better neighborhood, they took it. As I began to go to, um, to junior high and high school, started hanging out with friends who were into drugs, and so I started uh, testing with drugs, and um, after a while, I stopped playing sports in high school, and when I stopped playing sports, uh, that's when I really started getting into trouble. Hanging out with gang bangers and drug dealers and, and just thugs and running the streets and had a fake ID in the city of Las Vegas at the age of 17. So if you can imagine the things that I did not living for the Lord in the city of Las Vegas, that was my life. And it came to a point where uh, I was 20 years old and, and um, I started hearing God calling me. And when I say calling me, I literally heard his audible voice numerous times telling me to, to, to get right, to, to give my life to him. And, and it, it was a struggle. I, I felt like I was in such a deep place of sin that one that he couldn't forgive me for the things that um, I was doing in my life. But also I didn't even know how I, I could even say yes and live for him. And the, God used a secular artist to speak life into me in the situation that I was in um, to give me the courage to just say yes. I, I made the decision to go to church um, because I was, I was afraid for, for my life, the things that we were doing. I didn't know where I was gonna end up. I knew where I was gonna end up and I knew that's not what I wanted for my future. And so I ended up giving my life to the Lord and, and um, the church helped me, walk me through the process of building a foundation of faith in my life. I'm still standing on 20 years later. And so this is my story of forgiveness. In the areas where I felt the Lord couldn't forgive me of all the horrible things that I did, he showed grace and he showed mercy and he's forgiven me of all the things that I've done wrong. And it doesn't just stop there, he's asked me because he's done it for me. He's asked me to do that for other people. And there's so many different stories of forgiveness in my life. I had a lot of encounters with cops, with police, and um, most of them were uh, one times when I wasn't even doing anything wrong, but um, I was kind of racially profiled or, or pulled over because I looked suspicious or looked like the person who, who they were looking for. And I know right now in our culture, there's so many different views on, on the police and how they respond to different situations. But one thing how I've learned to overcome is, is to forgive them. You know, I've learned that yes, there are good police and there are bad ones. Just like there are good parents and there's bad ones. There's good leaders and there's bad ones. And uh, I've had to choose to forgive over and over and over again and not write off the good police officers because I had a couple bad encounters. And to choose to not be offended. I, one thing that I learned is that offense, it literally builds a fence between those people who were offended by. And it's not just police, it's people. Because we're, as we live in this world, people are, are gonna wrong us. People are going to offend us. People are gonna do things that are gonna hurt us. No matter who it is, we have to choose to forgive. And so I've chosen to forgive, even to the point where I've linked arms with the local police, um, with, with captains, and gone to the, some of the most dangerous neighborhoods and have been a voice for our police officers saying, hey, they are here to protect and to serve. And maybe you're watching this and maybe you're offended by someone. You know, maybe you're dealing with the same emotions that I deal with whenever uh, I have to encounter the police. You're afraid of your life. You're afraid of what might happen because of what we've seen in the media. And maybe there's offense, and maybe there's rage, and maybe there's hatred. If there's one thing I've learned is that forgiveness is a choice. And we have to choose to forgive and choose to walk in the opposite spirit. And so when I get pulled over now and I have all those emotions of fear, of anger, you know, what? When, when I have my hands on the steering wheel and the police officer's knocking at my window, I'm like, how you doing, officer? And I walk in the opposite spirit of what I'm feeling to show honor to our police, even though I haven't always been honored myself. I believe that God is trying to tell you something right here, right now, as you're watching this video, that may, maybe you need to know that the Lord's forgiveness is available for you. You know, he shed his blood and he went to the cross. God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross so that we could be forgiven. Maybe you're watching this right now and, and you've been living for God, but there's some people who have offended you. Maybe you're mad at somebody. Maybe you're upset. Maybe you're offended at what they've said to you or how they've wronged you. Maybe the Lord is saying to forgive them, to let go so that we can live a victorious and overcoming life. And the only way we're gonna be able to do that is to let go of those who have wronged us, to accept the Lord's forgiveness in our life and to forgive those who have wronged us. If you need the Lord's forgiveness right now, just go ahead and repeat this prayer after me. It's a simple prayer, just say, Lord, forgive me. I know you sent your son Jesus 
to die on the cross for my sins, for the things that I've done wrong, and help me and give me the strength to live an overcoming life. And maybe if you're in the boat where you need to forgive someone, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I forgive those who have wronged me. Help me to make the decision to forgive over and over again the same way that you forgive me. In Jesus' name, amen.